Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and we are ready to have some fun today, right? It's, you guys, it kind of feels like summer here in Michigan, which like, it's kind of early for that, but I'm super duper excited. So I have like my short sleeves on and I had to put my self tanner on, although it's only on my legs. So I'm very pale up here till still. Okay, um, so I put some stuff in the laundry and <laughs> hi Mary. And then I forgot to close the lid, and so now there's water rushing. So we'll see. Hopefully that doesn't like happen the entire hour that we're here on Facebook Live. Uh, otherwise, I might have to go deal with that in a moment. So we'll see. Anyway, um, so we have got some great things planned today. We are playing with this beautiful The Growth Takes Time stamp set. So I shared some make and takes that we made at our group meeting earlier. Well, I guess we're May, so it was last month. I was going to say earlier this month, but I had to be in April. Um, anyway, and I'll share you, those with you in just a moment. Hello, Bonnie. Thanks for sharing, and good morning to you, too. But this is a stamp set that is only available online. It's called, it's part of our online exclusives, um, so you won't see it in any catalog. Uh, so it's available kind of while supplies last, but it's the tree, so we don't have the, hi Beth, hi Deb, how are you ladies? What was the um, lovely as a tree, I think was the tree stamp set that we had for forever, so that one finally retired. So this is kind of a nice, maybe um, replacement idea for you with that beautiful, like a large tree and then a smaller tree, then some more, oh, I love like the little watering can with a heart on it and some really great sentiments, different than we've had in the past, I would say. I feel like I haven't seen a stamp set with these sentiments like, be patient, your time will come, be gentle with yourself, look how far you've come and growth takes time, which is obviously the name of the stamp set as well. So yes, let me share with you. If you did not see our last Facebook Live, I'm trying to see which is the first one I wanna show you. So here's one of um, a card that we made at our group meeting, at our Ink Inspired Stampers group meeting in April, um, using that Growth Takes Time stamp set. And I wanna show you, isn't that awesome, right? So there's the little tree, and then that sentiment, Growth Takes Time, and then look, the big tree, right? And then let's see, this one was really pretty too, right, with the white embossing on the black makes it really pop on there, right? And then also, obviously featuring all those radiating stitches dies, which I think, I think we're playing with those today. I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> and my little um, bins are covered up with some other things I have to share with you guys. So I'm like, I can't, I'm trying to remember. Um, anyway, but yeah, so beautiful stamp set. And then, like I said, radiating stitches dies featured on those as well. So yeah, so I've got two more projects that we're gonna share with you today featuring that beautiful stamp set. So yes, what else do I wanna share? Um, 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 oh, oh, so much good stuff. Hi Susie, hello and welcome. We have like all these great things going on like we have our uh, In Color Club featuring all of our brand new In Colors. So that's a little flyer that I've been sharing with all of our beautiful In Colors on there, right? So these are the in colors kind of in cardstock form. So am I gonna remember these? Moody Mob, Boho Blue, Copper Clay, Pebbled Path, and Wild Wheat. Oh, I did it. Okay, I'm very, very excited. I was like going down the slippery, slippery slope of am I gonna remember these names or not? But yes, a beautiful kind of muted uh, earthy colors that we're featuring in our in colors this year. So in Color Club, for example, one month you'd get each of these colors. So one month you'd get Moody Mob, all the products in Moody Mob, then all the products in Boho Blue, all the products in Copper Clay, all the products in Pebbled Path, and then maybe finally your month would be um, the Wild Wheat, so you'd get all of the products in Wild Wheat. Now what are all the products? Well, you'd get a full package of cardstock. Let me check my little flyer here. So you get the full package of cardstock, you get the ink pad, you get the ink refill, you get the full uh, bolt, 10 yards of textured ribbon, you get the stamp and write marker, you get both of the light and dark blends, you get the in color designer series paper, and you get a full spool of jute trim. It's, let's see, what is it, $59 per month for five months to get all of that product in each of our in colors. Then one month, you are the host. I let you know ahead of time, oh, you're the host for this month. You get to pick $20 in free product, anything that you want. Plus I throw in the in color dots 
in our beautiful in colors as well as another free hostess gift for you so that um still you can sign up i know susie yay 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 she's already signed up for that uh there are still spots available if you're interested in getting all of our beautiful new in colors on a budget right spread it out over five months so you don't have to buy everything all at once and you get all the beautiful products in our in colors okay i also have designer series paper share um, I'm going to make one little gripe because I thought I would have um, my orders here by now and it's kind of kind of through a monkey wrench in a lot of what I'm doing today, but uh, shipping is taking a really long time. That's all I'm going to say about it. I don't really know much more than that. I know way back on the day we could pre-order as demonstrators back in the beginning of April, we got like 20 times the normal number of orders. So I kind of, I was trying to relate it. Like, how can I think about this? Like if normally we get like 10,000 orders in a day, in one day we got 200,000 orders. So think about that, like put them behind like 20 days, which I get and i'm that's it's great it's a good problem to have right but it's kind of flowed through and it's continued to make shipping like take a really long time so anyway why what was my point oh because i was hoping to be able to show you all of our designer series paper and i still don't have it all which i'm dying to see it too at any rate i am featuring the designer series designer series paper share you get a quarter of a pack of every single paper designer series paper in our new annual catalog um, I think it's like, well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 packs of paper. You also get a free sample of our 2023, 2025 in color designer series paper. It's $45 for a paper share. If you're interested, let me know. I will include the links for in color club and the paper share. And lastly, I had uh, a couple people ask me about doing a core color club. And I was like, okay let me let me figure that out we can do that so what happened with our color renovation there were 11 new colors that came into our core group of colors and here they all are right so you probably don't have this product yet right in these new core colors some of them are um, 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 um in colors that came back as core colors so you maybe recognize them maybe you have some product maybe you don't so if you're interested in the core color club what i'm going to do is i'm going to double up so you're going to get two colors per month so can i remember these names let's see we've got misty i'm going to try to do this misty moonlight lemon lolly pretty peacock bubble bath uh i think that's lemon lime twist this is a new azure afternoon um fresh freesia berry burst what else do we have this is blueberry bushel Lost Lagoon, and lastly, we have uh, pecan, pecan, pecan pie, pecan pie, maybe. So anyway, like I said, for example, each month, we're going to do this over six months because there are 11 new colors. So each month, you are going to get two colors. So you might get uh, Misty Moonlight and Lemon Lolly, and this is what you're going to get. Where's that list? <laughs> it's here somewhere. So you're going to get both of the ink pads in these colors. You're gonna get the markers in these colors, the ink refills, the blends, and a full pack of cardstock. So each month you get two colors. Again, ink pads, refills, markers, blends, and cardstock in all of our new core colors. One month you're only gonna get one color because I have 11, right, 11 colors. So if I divide that over six, five months you get two colors and, the, and then one month you only get one color, but that's your host month. So then you get to pick, what did I say? $25 in free product the month that you are the host. Plus, I'm gonna throw in a free embellishment as well the month that you're the host too. It's $79 per month for six months to get everything. Oh, it was all beautifully fanned out and now it's not so beautifully fanned out, but here's the idea. In all of our 11 new core colors. So if you're interested in that, let me know because I'm still taking uh, sign ups for that core color club and again all the details and the link to sign up will be in this Facebook live video after I get it uploaded this afternoon okay um all right let's see so give me one moment because my washing machine so what's happening I think I left the lid open and so it's like losing water so it drains a little bit and then it adds to it and then it drains a little bit and it adds to it and it's driving me crazy so I'm gonna go put the lid down and actually let it start washing and I'll be right back one second
okay, hopefully that does it. It's still adding water. I'm like, is it going to be adding water the entire time? Which wouldn't be good. It, hopefully it's losing it too. Otherwise there's going to be a huge flood in there. <laughs> Why does this stuff have to happen right now, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so uh, we are going to draw for our first drawing, right? Which is if you shared the last Facebook Live video or if you signed up for my email list or if you shared the class to go kit post. I thought I was going to have, again, my iridescent pearls. They're, I think they're riding around on a FedEx truck right now. So they, they'll they probably come like while we're doing Facebook Live. But at any rate, I will have those very shortly and I will get them sent out to whoever's name I draw from this basket right here. So you guys know the iridescent pearls, right? They're just a beautiful, like simple little pearl, but they kind of have an iridescence, so kind of an opaly. Um, you know, they can kind of take on different like pastel colors as well. So anyway, like I said, your name is right here in the drawing to win the iridescent pearls. And okay, let's see, we got a couple stuck together. You know, I always have to like pull them all apart so everyone has a fair shot here. Okay, so one lucky winner of our iridescent pearls, they go to winner, winner, chicken dinner, Miss Vina Gomez. All right, congratulations, Vina. She's a great sharer of all of everything I do basically. So thank you, Vina, for all of your sharing. And as your reward, I will send out those iridescent uh, pearls to you. So thank you very much. All right, let's see. Where am I dumping this? Right there, okay? Oops. Okay, I gotta get my names in, in here for the next drawing too, okay. So I got all of those in there. All right, so we are gonna give away on our next Facebook Live, which I will preface is actually gonna be in three weeks from today because we're going on the incentive trip. We leave, that's why I'm like even more bouncing off the walls because I have so many things going through my mind of everything I wanna get done before we leave on Wednesday next week. So yeah, so we are gonna be out of town. Um, yeah, is that right? So we're gone for the next two Fridays, so we're gone for next Friday and then the Friday right before Memorial Weekend. So we'll be back. I think it's uh, Friday, June 2nd is gonna be our next Facebook Live, okay? So when we're back, so you have lots of time to share this video, your name will go in the drawing if you share the video for these beautiful, the iridescent pastel gems. These are one of my absolute favorite embellishments. They came out in our mini catalog in the spring and then they kept them around, which I'm super duper excited about. So your name will go in right in my basket. Again, share this Facebook Live video right here, right, right here, right? If you share the class to go kit post, which is my Cheerful Daisies class to go, I'm gonna show that in just a little bit. Or if you sign up for my email list, which the link is above this Facebook Live video as well. So do that, your name goes in the drawing on our next Facebook Live, the very first Friday in June, June 2nd, we'll give away those beautiful iridescent pastel gems. I love those things. Okay, so speaking of the trip, you guys, maybe if you follow lots of people on um, social media, other demonstrators, maybe you've already seen, but I thought, oh, I'm gonna like, I gotta share the pillow gifts, the box. So they sent us, this is the first time they've done, done this, but they sent us our pillow gifts ahead of time in this beautiful box too. And what was so cute was many people like met their UPS driver out like, you know, on their front lawn and they got like selfies or a picture of the UPS man with this beautiful box, this Norway gift box. So it was really, really cute to see. I was not home, so I didn't, I didn't get to do that. But anyway, I just wanted to share. So you guys have to see, well, let me close it up. I have it all open, but okay. <laughs> I guess I should have had it closed. Wow. Oh. Okay, well, you'll get the idea. So maybe you've seen, but it's a beautiful, like look at the, the beautiful print with that. I love that logo too, the Norway logo, right? And then let's see, is there anything? Oh, more pretties on the back too. Okay, so here's the box of goodies. And if you haven't seen what's inside, I'm gonna kind of try to open it. But look at even the top of the box is beautiful also, isn't it? Okay, so in this box, I don't think I'm gonna knock anything if I do this. All right, I'm gonna open this up and show you guys. So the most beautiful Norwegian sweater. It's a 100% wool. So um, it might be a little itchy for me. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put lots of layers underneath, but it is, look at, it is absolutely gorgeous. Can I move that tag out of the way? There, so you guys kind of see, right? So it's this beautiful blue, kind of a mist, I'm gonna say misty moonlight with some night of navy in it as well, but gorgeous, gorgeous 
Norwegian handmade wool sweater. It is beautiful. And then, okay, let's see what else do we get. Well, this card too that of course, uh, it, the whole theme, like even the little stamp, like is very well coordinated with the box too, with a beautiful sentiment on the inside as well. Uh, some super cute socks too. I, I've been like dying to kind of open these up and try them on and wash them and take them with me on the trip, but I thought, okay, I'm gonna keep them in the box until I can show you guys. So fun, and they're really like soft, super cozy socks. Um, oh, let's see, oh, we got a rolling pin also, and the cool part, so we kind of opened it up. Um, but so it's it's not your regular rolling pin. Um, we can like, look at, isn't that so pretty? You can make impressions in your, um, what, your cookie dough? <laughs> I was gonna say your cake batter, but that's not right. That would not work at all. But yeah, you can make impressions. Isn't that so cute? The little bunny rabbit right there and the birdie, the birdie again right there. So yeah, beautiful um, rolling pin also. I bet they do a lot of baking in Norway. That's what I'm thinking, right? And then, okay. You guys have to tell me, this is a bit of a mystery to me. Uh, maybe someone else has shared. We got a strap. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. Like, what do, I, what do I do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? It's, you know, it's one of these great clip kind of things. Um, I, I feel like uh, maybe there's a bag or something coming. I'm really not sure. Lori, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining us. And so it's adjustable and it's super cute. Like I love the print, the pattern on it. Can you guys see? It's it's similar to what's on the box as well. And it is very Norwegian, but I'm like, I don't know what to do with this. So I don't know if I missed a memo or something, um, but I think I'm feeling like I'm gonna bring this with me and the mystery is gonna be solved at some point. That That's what I'm thinking. And then, oh, then we got the cute bag tags. I always love, they always do such a good job with the little bag tags. So we can put these on our bags, on our, you know, on our way, on our trip, right? And then probably the most useful, and I've already actually pulled this out so I could try it on and make sure everything looks good, but we got a rain jacket. Of course, it's got the, yep, there's our Stampin' Up! logo on it. It's very lightweight, so it can get rolled up very easily, um, but it fit perfectly, and it actually, I've been like, when I get a little chill, I've been like putting this on, and even as thin as it is, it keeps you really nice and warm. So I'm very excited about this as well. So just had to share those cute gifts with you guys because I thought, oh, it's just so fun. And the box, I'm like, <laughs> I'm kind of a box girl, I guess. I don't know. I'm like, I, I'm not going to get rid of this box. I'll figure out something fun to do with it at some point, I'm sure. So, okay, I think we are ready. We're going to do our next drawing, which is... If you put an online order in through me, you automatically get these two cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. These are featuring that cheerful daisies bundle. So you get these two cards as a thank you. You also got to pick from this month's free embellishment, which are also riding around on the UPS, or no, it's the FedEx truck, because let me tell you a secret. UPS is really good with when they tell you when something's gonna come, it usually comes on that day. FedEx, they keep changing the day. So all this stuff was supposed to come on Wednesday. Now it says, and I'm sure if it says out for delivery, it's coming today, but they, like originally, I think the date was like last Friday or Monday, I was supposed to get these things. So FedEx keeps changing the day on me. So that's something I'm learning because we don't usually I think our things are usually shipped to UPS and not FedEx. So I like UPS better, I'm just saying, because they stick to their dates. But anyway, okay, blah, 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 blah. I gotta just stop worrying about that. But we are gonna give away, so I've got like all these things in my catalog, but are you even gonna be able to see them? Where are they? Well, they're these right here. So this is our free embellishment. These are the in-color pearls. So the 2022, 2024 in-colors, they come in pearls now too. So this is a beautiful pack. I'm sure they're beautiful. I'm just absolutely positive of it. But that's our free embellishment for this month, okay? So as soon as they get here, I'll be able to share those with you guys. So you can pick from the free embellishment or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial, 16 projects in here. I actually featured another card using that Cheerful Daisies bundle in my tutorial this month. So 16 different projects. PDF tutorial, you can use from that. Plus, your name is in the drawing right now. This is already gone forever. This is the Glimmer Paper, last year's In Colors uh, Glimmer Paper. So if you put an online order in through me, your name is in here in the little basket. So we're gonna toss these around and we'll get one lucky winner. 
for the in color glimmer paper. Okay. Here we go. And you automatically get all that other fun stuff. Even if you don't win the glimmer paper, you still get your choice of that free embellishment or the PDF tutorial and the cards that I demonstrated. So always great rewards for ordering through me. Miss Teresa, <laughs> congratulations, Miss Teresa Hinchman. You are the, oh, I'm like, oh, is that FedEx? No, it's you, it's, it's USPS. <laughs> Maybe they have my, who knows? <laughs> I'm like squirrel, very distracted. Okay, so Teresa, congratulations. You are the winner of the In Color Glimmer Paper and I will get that sent out to you. And thank you so much for your order and everyone that ordered through me. I truly, truly appreciate your online orders. Okay. All right, what else? Oh, okay, so speaking of the trip, um, so yeah, we are gonna do what I'm calling a cruising special for the next, basically through the end of the month. So if you order through me anytime between now and May 31st, which is the last Wednesday of the month, hi Vina, you're welcome for the catalog. Good, I'm glad that got to you. Yay, 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 so fun to see it, right? And flip through it, all the beautiful pages. Um, okay, yeah, so cruising special, this is the deal, right? Okay, so you're gonna get the cards that I demonstrate on Facebook Live right now, and you're gonna get eight additional free cards. So lots and lots of cards in my stash, so I'm gonna pull some beautiful cards, send you 10 full cards, right? 10 full cards as a thank you. You're also gonna get to pick from the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are those, um, the in color pearls and then i've got a couple of stamp sets i'm going to give away on facebook live on june 2nd so let's see did i flag these pages i tried to um ooh, no that's in the other book <laughs> hold on hold on so we are going to give away i have well i'll tell you and then i'll show you because i don't have them yet okay so we are going to give away um, I have them flagged for another reason too, so now I'm all confused. Okay, so bird's eye view is one of them. This is so cute, I love these little birdies. And then their glasses too. So you could win this bird's eye view stamp set. Is it just so cute? I can't wait to get it myself and play with that one. Okay, and then also, oh yes, good. The little, let me make sure. Yep, bird's eye view or the little monkey stamp set, another super duper cute one. Can you see that little guy? I love the little the little monkey that would be like hanging from the branch there, okay? So hi Pam, thank you for joining us and thank you for the share too, welcome, welcome. Okay, so yeah, so all of that in my cruising special, right? 10 free cards, including the two that I'm gonna do in just a few minutes. Your choice of the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment and your name goes in the drawing to win the bird's eye view or the little monkey stamp set and we'll do that at the on the first facebook live the beginning of june on june 2nd okay but order 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 through me please 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 i truly appreciate that because it's scary to go away from your business for like 12 full days um i'm gonna have very limited kind of access to internet and i i kind of need to like just wind down and unplug a little bit too my kids are coming with me and i'm super super excited about that this is these are my like all-time favorite like times with my kids because we just get to get away and be together and really like share and it's an adventure for us too like right we're gonna go to london england i've never never ever been there before so oh okay we gotta figure out where we're going and what we're doing and riding the train and getting from the airport to the hotel and you know all those things but like they're super great helpers they're adult enough now that we all work together so it's a great experience for us and then we go to Norway on the cruise and that's going to be amazing also so hi Danielle thank you for joining us but love I absolutely love this time with my kids so very very excited about it but like I said I get a little nervous like being away from my business for so long too so I would truly appreciate and that's why I'm doing that cruising special if you're thinking at all about ordering please order through me use that host code and you get all those great benefits um, for the cruising special while I'm away okay um all right I think we are yeah okay I have swaps to show you guys I want to flip the camera down though because I that's where I flagged all my pages so I could be really prepared to show you because usually I just show you the um the swaps and I don't even like refer to where they came from in the catalog and I took the time to go through and figure all that out so I want to show that to you guys now okay so 
Turn your heads away. We're going to fly through the air and get you set up to see these beautiful cards. And then they won't be backwards either, okay? Or upside down or whatever they are. Upside down, inside out, backwards, whatever happens on Facebook Lives. Okay, all right. Good stuff. So I can finally show you guys the inside of the catalog too, which is very, very exciting as well. Okay. So what I did, I participated in an amazing swap. I'm a part of a Facebook group for incentive trip achievers. And these ladies always do like an, um, like just the most amazing job on their swaps. So I love participating in this swap. And then I love sharing these with you guys as well. So I think I'm super organized. That's my plan. So first of all, we have, this is the beautiful balloon bundle right here. So stamp set and coordinating dies. And then here's a great example of a project that you could make using. And actually it features, this is the bright and beautiful designer series paper. This is the paper that we're actually, let me move that down a little bit. This is the paper that we're using in my cheerful daisies class to go as well. There are, what's kind of fun is there are some like, you know, kind of more subtle muted. Um, they're all kind of subtle and muted, but some of them are more of a wash and then some of them have more um, prints. This is probably about the most bold print that is in that pack of paper. And then how about this one? Super cute too, huh? Love that. Love, love, love the little happy birthday with the little balloon and the banner. And then when we flip the page, we go to, this is the circle sayings stamp set. So here's another great, and then this idea, well, great idea, this designer series paper actually is part of this suite, the bright and beautiful. So the bright and beautiful designer series paper, that's where that came from. And then this is actually this, what is this called? Let me make sure. Oh, I think I need my glasses. One moment, please. Um, this is the gold celebrations. It's 12 by 12 specialty paper. Oops, so there, can you guys see? I'm like too busy looking at it myself and not paying attention to whether you guys can see it. And they she used some of the gold ribbon that I think was in our um, holiday mini catalog and carried over to this annual catalog. Okay, so yeah, this is the stamp set though, right? The circle saying, so you can stamp that and then she did the little happy birthday right inside there. So lots of fun you can have with these. You can kind of use these along the top or the side any of those things as well. So very, very cool, right? Then we have the, ah, this one's been super popular, the Zany Zoo Bundle. Like, look at the cute little, what is that? Like a dancing, like a ballerina cat or something? I don't know, leopard? I'm not really, maybe a leopard, right? Something great to celebrate, you, exclamation point. And even the cute little, I love the little confetti on there too, which is from that right there. So there's that stamp. And then the fun paper too. So this is the zoo, the zoo crew designer series paper is where that comes from as well. Cheetah, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. Cheetah, thank you. You know, my mind kind of goes blank a lot. Now this one, I was trying to figure out. I feel like he might be in the designer series paper because that looks like a pattern right there, right? And then I kind of quickly flipped through the catalog. I thought maybe that was stamp, but now I'm thinking maybe she just cut it right out of the paper. I'm not totally sure. But that's what I'm thinking. But I love this. You are my happy place, right? Or wherever that sentiment is from, maybe that's where that's, that little guy is from too. Not totally sure. And then this is the fun, the little monkeys. Okay, did I, I think I did flag that one. Yes, oh, nope, I already did. So bird's eye view, that's again, the one that we're gonna give away in the cruising special. You guys can see that so it's not backwards inside out anymore. So there's just something about, I, well, it's this, like these little, the little birdies with the glasses. They're just so cute. Okay, thank you. Beth says, yes, he is in the designer series paper. That's kind of what I was thinking. Um, okay, then we have, oh yes, the other, the little monkey stamp set. This is also part of our cruising special. So cute, right? Just swinging by to, by to say hi. I'm bananas about you and little monkey, <laughs> these cute little. And then this one you can see is a little bit different color. This one and the banana mean that they are punched out with the coordinating punch. So that little guy and that banana. Um, punch out as well. And then this one, so it looks like maybe she did stamp, and that might be from designer series paper as well, too. Just swinging by eye to say hi. So, so cute, right? Then we have, ooh, this is beautiful too, right? The Countryside Inn, this sweet collection featuring these Countryside Corners dies, I think they're called. Yep, Countryside Corners dies. So they're all kind of like label dies, right? And then there's this 
um, stamp that you can use that coordinates with probably the largest die in there. And then the beautiful designer series paper too. So she actually used that circle saying stamp set that we just looked at and then some of the designer series paper. And then this is the new embossing folder, the countryside and blas um, blossoms embossing folder that's all part of this suite. Beautiful, right? Here's another one right here too with more of the designer series paper. Again, from that countryside in designer series paper. There's some of the new boho blue, that textured ribbon, the new in color ribbon. And then what else? So many good ones. Can you guys see why I love participating in this swap? Okay, this is super duper cute. I think that this is supposed to be a die cutting machine. And then there's a die. So this is from the crafting with you. This is the stamp set. And then there's a die set also. And there's all kinds of cute little stuff in there. But one of them looks like <laughs> it looks like a die cutting machine. And then these cute little, you can see like the little buttons in the hearts. So, so cute. And the scissors. Oh my gosh. So fun, right? And then we have the Cheerful Daisies Suite, which that is probably one of the most popular. So with the designer series paper, with the gems, the stamp set, and the dies, and then here are a couple of beautiful examples featuring that some of our new, the Pebbled Path ribbon right there, right? Oops, a daisy, so sorry. And then this beautiful paper as well with the timber embossing folder. And then this one, your friendship means everything. And then this is the new, ooh, ooh, I'm drawing a blank on the color now. Mm, I can't remember. It'll come, oh wait, it's right there, wild wheat. <laughs> Phew, I'm glad I thought fast and remembered where that was. And then here's another, this wishing you the brightest birthday. So this little label is actually in the Cheerful Daisies die set as well. So good segue, right? Beautiful swap cards, right? So lots and lots of great ideas. Ladies that come to my Simple Beautiful card class, you probably see a few of these cards at class as well. That's one of my most favorite reasons for participating in the swap, sharing all these cards with you at class and then being able to use them for ideas for class projects as well. Okay. I'm going to put those right on the counter because I have to walk out of the door after we're done with this and go to class, and I want to remember to bring those projects with me. Okay, so let me show you the Cheerful Daisies class to go. While I have this open right here, let's chit-chat about that for a moment, too. I think I have everything here. Yep, okay. I do, I do. Let me just tell you about... So if you haven't seen the video or my blog post about this class to go. I just want to give you a quick uh, rundown on what all is included, okay? So we always make four projects in my class to go, two of each of them. So these are the projects that we're going to make. We've got this wishing you a beautiful birthday, oops-a-daisy, so sorry. And obviously you can change out these sentiments to be whatever you need them to be. You made my day and your friendship means everything. And then we used, on all of these, we used this designer series paper, the bright and beautiful designer series paper. So these are the patterns that we actually used. You can see that one right there, right? So there's kind of front and back of the patterns of paper that we did use on our projects. And then these are all of the other patterns that are in the paper as well. So you can see lots of, and again, they're all fairly muted. That was the brightest, boldest one, I would say. But beautiful pack of designer series paper. We're also featuring the gems that come in the pack. These are called the adhesive backed solid gems. In oh, look at that. <laughs> I got my little cheat sheet here. Copper clay, lemon lolly, and boho blue. That's awesome. What a good idea that was for me. <laughs> I'm so happy I did that. <laughs> anyway, okay, so these gems we used as well. And then some beautiful ribbon. We have this ribbon combo pack in lemon lime twist. Can you guys see that? And petal pink. And it's kind of a I don't know, a little stripey, a little texture, beautiful, beautiful ribbon that we used on those projects as well. Okay, so option number one, let me just kind of bring this paper back in, right? You get all four projects and then two of each of them, so you make eight cards all together. You get the full bundle, so you get the stamp set and the dies, the Cheerful Daisies bundle. You get the full pack of designer series paper. You get both bolts of ribbon, and you actually, in option number one, get the gems for free, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put your projects together. Option number one is $99. Option number two is if you already have 
the Cheerful Daisies bundle, you get the DSP, the ribbon, the gems, the PDF tutorial, all the parts and pieces to make all your projects. Option number two is $47. Then let's see, option number three is anyone in my Inkspired Stampers. Um, well, actually, anybody in my Inkspired Stampers team can get option number three, the PDF tutorial, for free. If you're not a team member, think about it. Get that starter kit, become an Inkspired Stampers team member. You get all my PDF tutorials for free. But if not, in the meantime, that PDF tutorial is $15. And then also option number four is for my downline. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces. They do need their own stamp and die set uh, to do their stamping and die cutting. But that option is $15 for my Inkspired Stampers team members to get the make and takes. RSVPs are due by the Friday, right before Memorial Day weekend, so Friday, May 26th. And the kits, hoping, 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 if you RSVP ASAP, <laughs> then I'll be able to get the order in and I'll feel really comfortable that the shipping date of June 7th will be a good date. But I'm going to kind of put that caveat out there that, you know, if we don't kind of get uh, caught up a little bit more on shipping, it might be a little bit delayed, but I'll communicate that with you if that's the case. But if you're thinking at all about getting this class to go, tell me now and I can get things ordered. Um, and then so we are not um, having any delays. Okay. All right. Let's do our stamping. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I did a lot of chit chatting. I knew I was going to because I have just so many things to share with you guys. Okay, let's see. Let's find the host code. Here's our host code for May, right? We're in May. <laughs> like, what day of the week is it? What month is it? What year is it? What life am I in? <laughs> that's where I'm that's where I'm feeling right now a little bit. Okay, sip of water. Mm-hmm. Okay, back to our projects that we are going to make today, right? And that host code will is always on my blog at gathering ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Vina, okay, you want me to get you signed up for option number one? Whoops, Daisy. I just tossed my glasses off the back of my head. Okay, I will get you signed up for option number one. I love that. Thank you. That works out perfectly. <laughs> Okay. All right. So again, growth takes time. Here is our stamp set that we are going to be uh, featuring today. So here is our first project. Love, love, love that beautiful the tree. And then I use this sentiment is actually from the Cheerful Daisies because I just loved it so much that your friendship means everything sentiment. Okay. So um, where did I put that stamp set? I showed it to you guys and then <laughs> it's... Oh, it's in the pile somewhere, right? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, well, it's right here. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, help. <laughs> Sorry. You guys just, like, tune in for a little, like, comic relief sometimes, don't you? <laughs> I'm glad to be able to provide that for you as well. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me get everything out. Okay, so let me tell you dimensions. As you know, I put everything out. Now it's all in the way, right? But okay, here we go. So we have a piece of crumb cake cardstock. Let's just move that for a moment, right? Okay. Are we in view? Can you guys see? There we go. All right. So crumb cake cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. Along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. <laughs> thank you Pam yes that's what makes it fun I know looking at watching me kind of like be an idiot sometimes right but I'm I'm glad I'm happy to be able to to provide your entertainment <laughs> okay so then this is our piece of pool party cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches and then I just have some scrap pieces of basic white to do our die cutting and stamping for both of those right there I did not put anything on the inside but you could have lots of fun if you wanted to do that um, okay, so let's see. I think, yeah, let's do our stamping and then we're going to do our embossing and die cutting. Okay. All right. So we're going to use our black memento ink for our tree. We're going to just ink him right up. And I like to, I don't normally press this hard, but this is more of a linen um, ink pad, this memento. And it, it always seems like, oh, I need to re-ink this. But then when I do that, then it gets almost like too inky. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm glad you don't think I'm boring. I appreciate that, Pam. That's cute. Yeah, well, I try to have fun. 
I mean, it is fun, right? That's why we do this because we love it, right? And it is so fun. Okay, so I did it. All right, so that looks pretty good. I'm very happy with the stamping on that, right? What always happens is I get ink from like, I don't know, it's when I open the ink pad, but may, you guys can barely see that, right? But it was bothering me, so I had to flip it over. Okay, so there's that. And then we're gonna use our pool party ink. You guys know the beauty of Stampin' Up! Our ink and cardstock and embellishments, they all coordinate so beautifully. Okay, so we're gonna ink up our, you know, friendship means everything, and we're gonna just, it's funny, these light colors, sometimes it looks like like there's no ink on there. When you press it down, like, okay, good, there was ink, but it's funny how sometimes it, it's so light, you don't even see it, you don't see it very well on your stamp, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, and you know what I realized? So I'm doing this embossing, and I forgot my um, plates to do my embossing, so let me run and grab those. You'll be happy to know that the washing machine did start and it has been running. So thankfully, <laughs> I'm not distracted by that anymore. <laughs> I knew you were worried about that. Okay, I'm running, running, running. So let's do, let's just do our embossing first, right? Okay. All right, we got that, there we go. Oh, it's just such a nice stamp set, like I said, with some different sentiments than we've had before, okay? I used the Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. I just kind of, I like, you know, I like that texture that it provides. I think it's almost looks like, um, like a stucco wall or something, too. I think lots of different uses for it. Just kind of a nice background. I love embossing, and sometimes I forget about it, um, but it just adds such a, oh my goodness. <laughs> I was, I knew that was wiggling, and then um, I was, I tried to like stop it wiggling, instead I hit it, and then it started falling apart, and whoops, <laughs> my goodness. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, isn't that, look at, ooh, it's so cool, right? There's one side, and there's the other side. I love that, okay? So we've got that. Now we're going to do our die cutting. So we're going to cut our tree and our sentiment. So I cannot stop using the all that dies. I use these. Actually, I've never used that label, but I use this one and this one and that little oval all the time. So these, again, are the all that dies. So we're going to use that one. Let's see. Where did I put my... Okay, we're going to put that guy right there. And then we're gonna put our tree. I'm just trying to make sure I have enough room here, right? And then another oldie but goodie, I guess I would say. Oops, that one I pulled out there too. The scalloped, it's not even that old. Maybe it came out a year or two ago, but I absolutely still love these. If you don't have these dies, these are my go-to, especially when some of the others that have retired, I'm so glad this one stuck around. So we're gonna use that big scallop rectangle. Okay, so we just want to kind of center that and get this one kind of, I don't know, even enough, right? So it's not tilty or crooked or something, okay? So we're just going to crank these through here. Sorry, I know that gets a little bit wiggly. Okay. So, and I love, there's like a little ridge around that too. Just a nice little... Nice little oval die there for you. And then love the scallops, right? We can't get enough of our scallops or the stitching. Great combo, right? Okay. All right, we're going to scoot these guys out of the way. Let's get our die cutting machine out of the way. And, oh, that's right. Now we get to color, ladies. Okay, so here we go. We are going to use... So I have been going to um, the Color Coach. I am in absolute love with the new Color Coach because we obviously have a bunch of new colors so that everything kind of got changed up and I've been having so much fun. So I went to the Color Coach and I was trying to find, you know, I knew I needed to use a green for my um, tree. And so I found this color combo that is Parakeet Party and then these are Crumb Cake and then the Pool Party. And it's just a really nice combination, don't you think? So I've been so happy with using that. Okay, so we're going to use, this is again our parakeet party. So we are going to just kind of, we're going to color. What I did was I um, just kind of colored all of 
the leaves that didn't have, um, I don't know, I'm gonna say texture on them in the lighter parakeet party, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna add um, a little color on the others that have, it's like the little, I don't know, they're little stripes, whatever those are, you know, the ridges on the leaves, <laughs> whatever those are supposed to be. And I'm doing the best I can. My head would normally be right down here. I know I always say that, but you guys are in the way. <laughs> The camera, the camera is in the way basically. So I can't get my head down there quite as close as I want to be. So I feel like I'm like, oh, I might be a little. Uh, so this is gonna be kind of um, a watercolor wash, like abstracty type of coloring job that we're doing on this one. But I don't think it's gonna bother you too much. If you're super anal, maybe it will, but just, just get over it, okay? There we go. All right, I think I have all the leaves colored, right? And then we're gonna come in with our crumb cake. And this is one where you wanna, I kind of, um, I'm almost raising up a little bit when I get in those super skinny areas because I don't want, um, that one was kind of bugging me more that I didn't wanna get too outside of the lines, I guess. So do you know what I mean by kind of raising, like I'm trying to go lightly over those areas so I don't go too outside the lines. I can see I did that a little bit, but it's okay, really. All right, and then we're gonna add, love to just where these um, knots are, I guess I'd say. We're just gonna kinda add a little bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna go back and kinda shade those, blend those in, right, with our Stampin' Blends. Just kind of blend those in so they're not quite as harsh. There. And there we go. So see, that was pretty simple. Nikki, hello. I'm so like in tune with what I'm doing. I didn't even, I'm like not even paying attention to who's coming on to Facebook Live right now. Sorry, I don't, hopefully I didn't miss anybody else. Uh, okay, so here we go. We're gonna add our painted texture embossed piece of pool party cardstock. Oh, there's just something about that. Can you guys see? I love that. Actually, you know what it really looks like to me is, uh, well, kind of. It kind of looks like frosting on a cake, and I have a huge sweet tooth, so I mean, I could eat cake with like, and actually, more frosting than cake. My sister is the exact opposite. She, you know, we'll get like, you know, we'll go to my dad's and do like a birthday party for one of the kids and my dad's wife always buys like cupcakes, you know, with a bunch of frosting on them. She doesn't like frosting, so she lops that off and gives it to me. So then I have <laughs> a cupcake with like mega amounts of frosting and it's perfect. <laughs> so we, we, we work well together, my sister and I, in that cupcake eating realm because <laughs> she doesn't like the frosting and I wouldn't want it to go to waste. So I just help her out with that, so. Yes, so I think, oops, that did not work. Um, yeah, that's why I really like this embossing folder because it looks a little bit like, okay. So the funny thing here, ladies, is in I'm making swaps for our trip and I literally tied like 40 bows. Yesterday I was getting my hair done and she was highlighting it, which takes a really long time. Um, and so you're just sitting there. And so I was sitting there tying these bows and I did 40 of them, lickety split, no problem. And I just tried to do one in front of you guys and I struggled. I guess I used all my bow making skills yesterday at the hairdresser. It was funny cause she's like, do your hands hurt after you do that? Um, cause she's kind of watching me, you know, while she's doing her thing. I'm like, you know, they really don't. I'm, it's what's funny is, you know, she works with her hands a lot too, you'd think. Her hands probably would hurt more than mine. Um, okay, I know I brought, there they are, my other scissors. Here we go. So we're gonna add a couple of, you guys know me, I just always, I have to add like a little bling somewhere. And I love, these are the, I think they're called the rustic metallic dots. We're gonna flip it open in just a moment. The, the easiest thing to do is when they flip over, it's like what, like a, I don't know, a bug or a turtle that gets kind of turned upside down because then you can stick your snips right to the, glue dot that's on the back. So these are, yep, the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. And there we go. Oops, I'm like way up here, aren't I? 
probably the whole time I've been doing that. I should know. That's why, that's why I use this grid paper more than anything. So I know if I'm on the grid paper, you guys can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so there is project number one, ladies. All right. Uh, again, with is it such a pretty stamp set, right? Be patient. Your time will come. Who doesn't need to hear that every once in a while, right? Or how about be gentle with yourself? Look how far you've come. Like great um, kind of words of encouragement, right? And then the growth takes time. So beautiful, beautiful stamp set, right? Okay, we are going to clean these off super quick just so I don't, I don't know, especially this black one. I don't want to get that black memento ink on things. So we're going to just clean that baby off right there. Oops, I didn't rub there. Okay, good enough. I don't think it'll come off on anything now, right? Okay, so project number one, I think we are good. Here we go. All right, so now we have a project featuring, oops, this is all over the place, isn't it? Let me make sure. So are we in? We're good? I think we're good. There. Okay. So new, new colors, new, new old in colors, now core colors. Okay. So this is kind of a fun one featuring, this is Pretty Peacock, and then this is Lost Lagoon. So love that really nice kind of deep, deep and subtle green color combination, right? We're going to use this piece of designer series paper right there that is from the, um, I think it's the Irresistible Blooms designer series paper, also part of the online exclusives. Um, and then what else are we? Oh, we're going to use a little, oh, maybe on the, where did I use the pecan? Oh, I know. I colored in. I was like, I don't see any stamping. In, but we actually colored that tree in with our new pecan pie ink. And then we're going to use some of, this is the burlap ribbon from the Real Red and Burlap ribbon trim combo pack that was in our spring catalog and carried over for us. Okay, so let me get, oops, something just went flying onto the floor here. I don't want to grunt, but I'm like, oh, I think I can get it. <laughs> you know how it's like a progressive commercial where you have to like make those noises because you're getting old, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at. Okay, so pretty peacock along the 11 inch side. We cut it at five and a half inches. Along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Always, right? Our simple, simple card base, right? On the outside, and oh, did I show you that already? I love this, right? So there's the little baby tree, and you water it. And then it says, look how far you've come. I love, 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 love that. Okay, so inside and outside, we have Pretty Peacock, four inches by five. No, this is Lost Lagoon. This is Pretty Peacock. Pretty Peacock card base, Lost Lagoon piece, four inches by five and a quarter. White also four by five and a quarter. All of these colors, dimensions, item codes, everything that you need to order and recreate these projects will be on my blog this afternoon at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. I actually wanted to use this piece. I wanted to see because I was kind of trying to decide between this piece of the designer series paper or this one. So we're going to use this one on this card and we'll see what we think. Two and a quarter by five inches. Again, that hello irresistible. That's pretty too, isn't it? That wash, again, it's got some pretty peacock, some lost lagoon, a little bit of white. Beautiful, right? Okay, and then some pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? All right, let's do it, ladies. Here we go. So, and they're pretty similar, so I got to get right down here so I can make sure I don't screw anything up. So on the, let's do this. On the inside, we're going to stamp, oh, I do need to make sure that tree is really clean because we're using it again. Okay, there's a little bit of black on here. It was kind of bugging me, but I was trying to just ignore it, and I would deal with it after we got off Facebook Live, but now I have to because I don't want to get that black ink in my brand new Pretty Peacock ink pad, right? That would be bad news. Okay. I really, I really stamped that well. I got into some crevices. I don't know how I got into, but <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mm, this one I am going to flip over this way. So I think I can get this inked up well enough. Okay, so we're going to stamp our tree. And this is in Pretty Peacock. And then we're going to do our sentiments 
in the Lost Lagoon, so a little bit later. Oh, look at, isn't that so, oops, sorry, I knocked that again, didn't I? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, beautiful, huh? I love all the detail of that tree. Just really, really, really a cool tree, I think. Okay, so there's that. Now we're gonna do, on this piece, because we need to do our die cutting, right? We're gonna do this, look how far you've come. Might be upside down, might have gotten a little ink there. Let's see, right? So we're gonna do that one. That's in Lost Lagoon. Now let's flip this. And then we're also gonna do the little watering can in Lost Lagoon. I'm gonna die cut both of those uh, with my circle. And then I need a little bit bigger one for my tree right here. And I'm going to use my pretty peacock ink for the tree. I'm going to do a bigger circle for that one. Oh, so cute. <laughs> yes, you like these colors too, Miss Pam. I know. And they work so well together. I'm trying to remember. I think they were probably in colors at the same time, but yeah, they are. And this is, so this is pretty peacock. You can kind of, you can see the difference if I bring them up close, right? This is Lost Lagoon, and then this is Pretty Peacock. So this is just kind of a little bit lighter, dustier, almost like a little bit more blue hue. And this is a pretty, it's like a bluey green still, but not, it's like a darker one, lighter, darker, I'd say. Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock. And then this is also Lost Lagoon there too. Well, I'm glad you're happy, Miss Pam. I, they're beautiful colors. I agree. Okay, so we are gonna do our, let's do our die cutting for these little guys. And then we will do our coloring on our little tree there, right? Yes, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, here we go. All right, so we've got this one. I'm gonna just trim, so I don't need too much of that. That'll help me out a little bit there. And I guess we're gonna have to, let's just trim this also because I use the same circle. Where are those? Okay, so we are using the Stylish Shapes dies. We're gonna use those two kind of in between circles, right? So we're gonna do the bigger one on the tree and the littler one, this just fits on here on this. Look how far you've come. Okay, that's good. All right, and then we're gonna use that small circle one more time on our little um, watering can. So cute. Just makes you think of like spring, summertime, this like watering can, I think. Okay, oops, I need that circle. I just threw that die right in there like I was all done with it. But we're gonna do one more time with our little watering can, okay? Crank these guys through here. Okay, so, oops, there we go. So cute, right? Just so cute. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna just color. I have not used my blender pens in so long and I thought, what fun, we are gonna do this, right? Okay, I need a little piece of scrap paper, I think. What will we use? I know I have one, here we go. Cause I wanna be able to kind of um, dust off my, here we go, this is what I'm looking for. So we're gonna color this little tree. We're gonna use our Lost Lagoon ink pad and our blender pen. If you just squeeze that a little bit, then it puts ink into the lid. And then first tip is to always kind of, can you guys see? Yep, we're gonna just wipe on here and make sure this is clean. Make sure I cleaned it from the last time that I used it. Then we're gonna just draw up a little bit of ink and then we're just gonna kind of lightly color these in. And when you feel like, oh, I need a little more ink, you just draw up a little bit more and then you just keep coloring. And yes, you guys are seeing this. This is the part, like I said, where I get so intent on what I'm doing that I forget to make sure if you guys can see what's going on or not. There we go. Okay, now. This is the trick, right? When you're done, clean it off. Just kinda, I like to kinda twirl it around in my hand, to make sure there's no ink left on there. So then when I go to, again, squeeze just that little bit, I have just a little bit of ink in that lid. I'm gonna just draw that up and I'm gonna color. Now you, you wanna be pretty light-handed here because what, 
I see happening, and it did it last time, was um, because we're not coloring on a memento ink, it is almost bleeding um, the color, the pretty peacock tree itself is kind of mm, spreading that color a little bit. So just be really gentle when you color kind of over that with a, like a different color, if that makes sense. So when you're coloring pecan pie over your uh, pretty peacock, you can kind of see it. It just, it smears it or smooths it, spreads it just a little bit, but not offensively so, I don't think. Okay, but yeah, so blender pens, we haven't used these in a long time and they were a lot of fun to use again. Okay, so I am, I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of all of these little circles. So we're gonna do that, okay. All right, uh, scoot those over there. Let's just put adhesive on, this is gonna go on the inside of our card. So we're gonna do that one, and we've got this, look how far you've come. So we're gonna just put that right there, and I did that a little bit higher up just so you've got some room for, um, writing right writing your sentiment okay we're going to add our designer series paper where we're doing the run it and tip it back technique so that our stamp and seal is all ready to go for the next time we're going to add just a strip here of our burlap ribbon i love that ribbon i was very happy that it carried over because i really i think because i barely got to play with that i'm like oh cool now i have a whole year i can play with this ribbon okay so we just kind of Add a little bit of adhesive there. I always flip this over to make sure it's not wonky, that it's going straight, and then I adhere it, okay? Now we're gonna run it and tip it back again and again. We're gonna put this thing right on there, and then we're gonna add our little tree right about there, and we're gonna water our little tree, right, maybe, go right there. Now let's see, oh, well, I was like, okay, this is too plain. I need to add some fun. So I wanted to add just a little bit of linen thread. So we're gonna make a bow with our linen thread. Okay. Let's kind of get that guy going there. Trim him off. We're gonna put a glue dot on the back of him. And just kind of add him right about there, right? And then my favorite, my mas favorito. I don't know if I say that right or not, but that's what I'm saying, right? My most favorite. These are the giveaway that we're doing on the next Facebook Live if you share this video right here, right? Oh, and I've been watching YouTube videos too, so I have to say, if you're watching on YouTube, wherever that subscribe button is, hit that subscribe button, please. <laughs> if you share, you'll get a chance to win these iridescent pastel gems, okay? So we're gonna add a couple of these little babies. Just kind of dig underneath there. Yeah, I'm gonna put him right there and then one more. Uh, just kind of put right there. And there we go. So projects for today complete, ladies. Which one do you like better? Which which DSP? I like them both, right? Do we like the kind of plaid or the, I feel like this is like an underwater um, coral reef only in, in greens instead of in corals, right? It's kind of what I'm thinking. So, okay, there we go. So, ooh, I didn't update this for the, um, well, it, it still pretty much applies. So cruising special, okay? Use this host code and please, 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 if you have any inclination, I would love your online orders. Using that host code, you're gonna get both of these projects plus eight more projects, handmade projects, eight handmade cards as a thank you from me. You get your um, choice of either the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial and your name goes in the drawing to win... Let's see, do I have them handy right here? Either of these stamp sets, I thought I did, do I? <laughs> here we go, you get to, you have the chance to win the bird's eye view stamp set or the little monkey stamp set with the cruising special. 
<coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a little frog in my throat now. So thank you guys so much for joining. I love that you love the cards and I just love doing this with you guys. So thank you for being a part of Facebook Lives and hanging out with me. And we will see you. We are gonna be gone for a little while, but we will be back three weeks. I know it's forever, um, but three weeks from today, we'll be back on Friday, June 2nd for our next Facebook Live right here. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everybody.